So the way you set this up, you say, hey, listen, monogamy isn't natural. I like seeing other girls as well, but I want you to stay faithful to me. In today's video, I'm gonna show you the benefits of one-way monogamy. I'm gonna go over the downsides of one-way monogamy. And if you stay till the end, you will get to see the solution of exactly how to set this up, okay? And by one-way monogamy, I mean you have a girlfriend and you are able to see other girls, okay, as if you were single, but she is not able to see other guys, okay? So I'm gonna get into all of those details. Uh, for those of you that aren't aware, I'm currently running that situation in Brazil with the girl that I've been with for over two years. I arrived here at 1,179 lay count in February 2020. Currently, I'm at 1,477. It was a lot of growing pains to get this set up properly, but I'm gonna go through all those different details for you in this video. If you're new to the channel or not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below and press the notification bell to be alerted of new videos every single day. It should go without saying why this situation is very, very ideal, okay? You get the best of both worlds, basically. Okay? When you're single, you might wish you had more of a lasting connection and a deeper emotional attachment with someone. On the other hand, when you're in a relationship, you might feel kind of smothered or trapped in the sense that you can't flirt with or go on dates or hook up with other girls you're attracted to, even though you have these biological urges and desire to, just because that could cause problems and it's against the, you know, the label that you set up, namely um, pure monogamy. When you can have the girlfriend but also still see a bunch of girls on your own and also have a bunch of girls on threesome rotation that you can see together, that's going to provide variety plus the emotional stability and connection. Uh, that, those are some of the benefits there, okay, is that you basically uh, get to have the best of both worlds. You get to have cool experiences, lots of cool stories. Okay, you can still go do your own thing as if you were single, but you can also live the relationship life at the same time. Traditionally, if you look at the evolutionary biology research, um, women get more upset about a man falling in love with another woman. Okay, and to the contrary, men get more upset about a woman fucking another man. And the reason why that's the case is a man biologically it would be a disaster to be raising some other guy's child, right? Like if she went and fucked some other guy, now you're putting forth protection and survival resources, right, back in tribal times in order to potentially defend offspring that might not even be yours, okay? So that, that would be a huge catastrophe there. Whereas with a woman, if, if the man falls in love with some other woman, he could go provide protection and food and stuff like this for that other woman because he fell in love and he cares about her. So this goes back, it's hardwired in all of us. Um, so step one, kind of, you just need to realize that you have to frame this properly to the girl, okay? You have to tell her, first of all, monogamy is not natural. It was mostly imposed by the church and the state. When you look at anthropological, sociological records, okay, and evolutionary biology, etc. Human beings are not meant to be monogamous. I read in my neuroscience books, there's a part of our brain responsible for, for monogamy and human beings don't have it. What's more natural for human beings is to have one main partner and a bunch of side partners. Okay, so you have to say, first of all, this, this like strict monogamy is not natural. Okay, and that's what, why a lot of people are cheating and the divorce rates are so high and this and that. But also, uh, the past societies, when you look at the research, it was mostly one-way monogamy, right? Like you have a, a tribal leader, you have like the alpha guy, he sleeps with a bunch of the women and the women just sleep with him, okay? And it's like this in monkey tribes as well. You'll have the alpha leader, he'll sleep with the different females and she won't hook up with the beta guys, okay? The, the follower ones that are subservient to the alpha monkey. So you have to tell her that it's not natural, but you also have to, to my other point, you have to explain that you're not gonna catch feelings for this, these other girls, okay? That your feelings and your emotional connection are gonna stay with your girlfriend, and these other girls are just going to be for sexual variety and you know new fun experiences, and you can enjoy them together, obviously, as well in the form of threesomes. This can be hard, however, on your girl, okay? Because she's gonna be getting a lot of shit from her friends, from her family, anyone that knows about this situation, they're gonna say, hey, that's not fair. Why does he get to see other people and you can't? So you have to be prepared for that as well, okay? That's gonna constantly be 
you know, coming into her head from these other people. And I say, of course, what do you expect them to, to say? Or what do you expect them to think? This is not the normal state of affairs in our modern society, okay? Even though it is aligned with how things were back in tribal times, okay? There was a perversion that happened due to the church and the state very forcefully uh, pushing monogamy and, and familial units, okay? Which is easier to control as a society. Other downsides can be Basically, it can create a bunch of drama. Your girl can feel neglected or left out. You need to make sure that she's the priority. You need to make her feel appreciated. You don't want to get carried away and, and just go bang. I've had periods like that where I've just went and banged tons of chicks and they can feel neglected or, or possibly like lonely because you're not giving them enough attention. Or if one of the girls starts to really like me, then that's going to upset my girl because she doesn't want a girl falling in love with me and, and this and that. There's a bunch of things to balance, but it definitely is worth it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into how you can set this up for yourself, okay? But please drop a like and a comment uh, if you're still with me. And also check out, we have free 30 minute calls where we can help you build a situation like this or get a monogamous girlfriend if that's what you so choose or build up a dream rotation very, very quickly, okay? All that's separating you from your current level to where you wanna be as your goal level in the game is a proper optimized system and strategy, okay? And that's what I provide. So get on one of those free 30 minute calls to discuss details and ask questions regarding my eight week program, which is by far the industry leader in this whole space, okay? In terms of the results we're producing. And you don't have to take my word for it. We have over 200 testimonials on a page uh, with the link in the description as well on the proof page, which you can also see in the description. So the way you set this up, you say, hey, listen, monogamy isn't natural. I like seeing other girls as well but I want you to stay faithful to me. And you wanna bring this up after the girl's already invested in you, after she's already really liking you a lot, okay? And it's gonna be hard for her to lose you, okay? But also, you do it in a way where you're on her side, okay? Because this isn't meant to be like some massively selfish thing. You still are gonna have the emotional connection and fall in love with each other in the relationship, and that's going to be the priority above everything. But you can also still have these things on the side so that you can continue to have new experiences, both sexually and, you know, with getting to know other people and stuff like that. Plus, I love the game. Okay, it's hard for me to retire the chessboard, so to speak, and say, oh, I'm never going to play again. Okay, now I'm, I'm in a relationship now, uh, you know, I have to put my fucking nuts in a jar. Okay, that can feel quite restrictive, quite um, overbearing and stuff like that. I think it's just much better to fully embrace, okay, like Andrew Tate, for instance, he says, when, I, when we interviewed, I interviewed him on my channel, he basically says that he's like the Ferrari and the girl knows that. And that what comes along with the Ferrari not only has a lot of cool experiences, but also that he's gonna be banging other girls, okay? And they don't wanna go bang some normal average guy that's gonna stay faithful to them. They'd rather be with a cool alpha bad boy that is gonna unapologetically see other girls on the side. And Andrew Tate phrases it uh, to the girls that he can either do it behind their back, he's gonna see other girls either way, but he can either do it behind her back or he can be upfront and honest about it. At first, I did shit behind my girl's back and then, you know, once she caught me a bunch of times, we kind of made a new policy that I was gonna be very honest about anything I'm doing. We live together and we have her some time now, but now I'm just very, it's like an open book and, and it works out much better that way because there's no secrets. Your partner doesn't wanna feel like you're deceiving them and stuff like that. So you change their worldview first, okay? which entails the evolutionary biology explanation, the neuroscientific and anthropological explanations about how monogamy isn't natural. Um, but you express how, you know, and if it comes down to like the, oh, well, why is this okay for you and not for me? That's just how it is. I know it's not fair. I know it's technically a double standard, but that's just how it is. It's, you can be part of that or you cannot be part of that. That's how I've always done it. I've been doing this for 10 years. I have a, a bisexual girlfriend that we have threesomes with and then we see girls together, and then I also see girls separately on the side. So there's a lot more to this. I can give you much more to help you set this up on autopilot so that you're just getting lots of new hookups, plus you also have your good relationship, okay, or marriage, or however you wanna play it, okay? The, the sky is the limit once you have a proper optimized strategy. So I encourage you guys, again, check out that link in the description for the free 30-minute calls. That will radically transform your life. It'll be the best thing you ever have done. I can guarantee that. Okay, because the, the, once you get good with girls, it has a residual effect. It's gonna improve your relationships with friends and family and coworkers and all these other things, okay? So do not hesitate, get on one of those calls. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Let me know what questions you have regarding this topic. This is a topic I get asked about a lot. And also check out 
in the end screen, we're going to show you the threesome blueprint video where it's going to go over exactly how to regularly set up threesomes for yourself as well. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate everyone's continued support now that we're beyond 100K subscribers. We're going upward and onward. A lot of the subscribers were, are coming from TikTok. We, we had a, a viral uh, TikTok reach over a million views. And my TikTok link is in the description as well. Okay, so thank you guys so much. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Hey, Jay, don't stand in line. I ain't never had to wait. I'm the realest in this game. I ain't never had to fake. Just take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models. And you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor, I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.